Hey guys, what's going on? Bass Assassin 13 here. I'm bringing you guys a little commentary over um, some Spaz 12 action that I have. Now, a lot of people have been saying that the Spaz 12 is awful, uh, very uneasy to use. Well, I can't agree with you there. I can't agree with you there. It's it's quite hard to use at first, but don't worry. I'm going to help you guys out here. All right. So first off, uh, the first two clips I have, I have two clips, game clips that I have here. The first one is showing me without the damage or range proficiency and is only using the focus proficiency, which I would recommend definitely if you do not have, you know, if it's not ranked up later in the game. But once you get extended mags and damage, without a doubt, switch to that. You need that. Uh, range is okay, it's a little bit better than focus, and I mean, honestly, go, but once you get damage and extended mags, use that shit. It's crazy. All right, and also in the second part, I, I forgot to take off um, the mic the mic chat, so you might hear some of my teammates talking to me in the background. Sorry about that. It's still a good gameplay though. Um, and also in the second part, that's when I have the damage proficiency with extended mag, so you can just see how much more it actually rapes. Um, anyways, let's get right into this. Uh, the Spaz 12. What are my thoughts on it? Uh, to be completely honest, it's it kind of sucks in comparison to a lot of the other guns in Modern Warfare 3, but as a shotgun, it's it's all right once if you can you know deal with it right. How I'd explain the Spaz 12 is a lot. I'd explain it like kind of. I want to do this with a couple different guns. I'm gonna explain it like I'd explain a girl, and even more so a relationship. Like the Spaz 12, I would say is like a high school relationship that gets turned into your longtime wife. Uh, early in the beginning, it starts off rocky. How rocky? Oh man, it is terrible. Uh, it's so inconsistent, like you know, high school relationships are. Uh, there's hit markers. You're fucking. It's. You get mad. You get angry. And but once you know you you cope with it and you work with it and find out your differences, you'll figure out just it just right. And then all of a sudden, things start to bloom with it. You start to unlock better proficiency. You start to unlock better attachments. And. Uh, it just turns into your perfect wife, and it is a fucking, it is a, it is awesome once, you know, it turns into your wife. Yeah, I mean, it, you get, like, the best sex ever, because, the, watch how this goes, I mean, you just fucking orgasm, one shot like that, all the time. Alright, so, once you can lock that down and get, you know, it, it high enough ranked, what you need to do is you need to make sure you're making good use of this map. You see how I'm maneuvering around here and kind of staying behind cover even though I'm, you know, getting getting out into, you know, open parts of the map. You just have to make use of other guns as well as I did right there. So then sprinting at people and just getting in their face. Uh, perks I'm going to recommend, sleight of hand because you need to be able to reload this bitch faster. Quick draw because you need to be able to use, you know, stun grenades and flash grenades very effectively so that you can get in their face once, you know, once you need to. I mean that that without a doubt is one of the biggest things you need to recommend that I need to recommend is using quick draw. Then use stalker. Stalker is great because you can aim down sights, you know, move around because if you miss the first shot, you're kind of fucked if you can't move. Um, but then also with the delaying claymores and such like that, because you're gonna be running around like a you know you're gonna be running around like crazy, not camping, and you know getting killed by claymore sucks. So use Stalker, especially, you know, Stalker Pro, that's going to help. Then I'd re what I'd recommend is running Specialist. The first one unlocks Steady Aim. Steady Aim is really good help because most of the time I don't even aim down sights with the shotguns fully. And if I do, it's just for a quick second. I'm like quick scoping with the shotgun. Uh, second thing, I'd recommend Assassin. You need to get off that radar. You are at such a disadvantage already with using that shotgun. You need to make the biggest advantage possible. And by using Assassin... I mean, not, them not seeing you on your radar, if their radar is sweeping across, that's a big help. Plus, you're not using a silencer at all on this thing, because that makes it just fucking no blow. Um, then, for your third perk on Specialist, you know, honestly, use whatever the fuck you want. After that, it really doesn't, it really probably doesn't matter. Um, there are a lot of good things. Uh, people like to use sit reps so they can further see where claymores are, I guess, to you to you know find where the camp people camping are. But what you're gonna find out is camping people are actually what's gonna be your biggest downfall. For some reason, I always like run past them or overshoot them. Like that guy's sitting there. Like how the fuck did I miss him? But if he would have been looking at me, I would have been fucked. And that guy again. Like where the fuck is the hit detection in this game? I mean, of course I missed a couple times. You know, probably should have slowed down. But you know, I you know wish I would have been able to hit him, but. 
you know, that's all I got for today. I'm going to bring up the next one. Uh, as soon as I get this gold, I'll probably do a gameplay with it and do a live com. And then after that, I'm going to get the A12 golden, and I'll do a little walkover through of how I would describe that as a girl. But uh, here is your longtime high school sweetheart turning into your wife. Hope you guys enjoy it. Peace.